what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is ben so today when it comes to watchOS, i'll be happy to let you know that this update came out watchOS 10.3 this is release candidate version and it came in at exactly 240 megabytes on my apple watch ultra luckily this is not all that apple released today it's been a busy day so iOS 17.3 RC alongside the iPad OS 17.3 version. We also got Mac OS 14.3 RC, Watch OS 10.3 RC. This is the video for that, including TV OS 17.3 RC. So most of these versions that you see here, I do cover on the channel here at Half Men Half Tech. So definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. When it comes to what's new within this WatchOS 10.3 release candidate version, if we go into the settings starting with the software changes and go to the about, you can see the new final build that we have here. It's 21S644. So that's most likely going to be the final build when it comes out a few days from now but now in terms of the new features and changes that i want to show you the first one if we go to our watch face selector right here and then click new and under this new watch faces tab you can see on the list the last one is this one that's called unity bloom and this one basically symbolizes pan-africanism and generations of working together to address injustice and if we add it to our watch face right here you can see the bloom you can have a full bloom or you can have a single bloom like this and basically those are the two styles that are here there's many various colors that you can choose it has a bit of a delay as you can see from the time I select the color maybe it's because I haven't restarted or fully implemented watch OS yet maybe if I power cycle my device that might fix it but you see the dual colors that you can choose from I think the default one looks pretty good and then you can see complications are not available for this style and the good thing about this watch face you can see that it doesn't really go with the band that I have but on your iPhone, if you go into your Apple Store application right here, you can see that they actually released a new band to go with this. So this is the Black Unity Sport Band and it's going for 60 bucks, well, close to six bucks in Canada. And you can see you can choose different sizes right here. And basically, that's one of the new things that has been added. Another thing that has been added to this WatchOS 10.3 has to do with Apple Music. To be specific, if you use playlists in your Apple Music, you can see here I created a playlist. And if we go up the way, there's the plus icon. We have the ability to add or invite people to join and collaborate on our playlist that we have in our Apple Music. If we want to automatically let people join, we can disable this. But if we want to approve collaborators, you, then we have to enable this and then we can start collaborating. And basically, anyone that i invite or send the link to with this playlist will be able to make changes and you can see the pop-up that just came right there giving me a number of contacts and option to share this playlist and the good thing about this is the same changes that are made on the iphone in the apple music application will also show up in the watch when you are listening perhaps using your airpods pro or just regular airpods another minor change that has been implemented in here if you go in into your settings and then you go to where it says a uh, clock right here you see that we have this swipe to switch watch face toggled on by default in the previous version this was off and you had to turn it on so now if you want to see the different watch faces that you have then you can be able to swipe between watch faces like this these are some of the third party watch faces that i have and i've made a full video on it if you want to check it out i'll leave it in the description of this video but now by default this is now on and you can see the unity bloom watch face that we have another setting that i want to let you know of that you might need to change has to do with Siri and health to be specific for the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2. This won't really work properly on my Apple Watch Ultra 1 but let's give it a try and see. How many steps did I do today? 
So you can see instead of giving me the prompt or telling me what I asked, Siri just, you know, gives me like a brief overview. It's like a shortcut, you know, taking me, okay, this is how many steps you did, how many calories you burned. But if you have the Series 9 or the Ultra 2 and you want to use the Siri and health feature, the way you do it, if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says health right there and you go to where it says data, it says data access and devices. And now here you want to enable Siri a health data access and basically with your permission Siri can read and write certain health data your health app data does not leave your device to complete Siri request and if you want to learn more you can click there this is going to be more prominent if you have the series 9 and ultra 2 like I mentioned now at this point in time it's kind of unfortunate because Apple had promised us that this Siri and health feature for the series 9 and ultra 2 feature was going to be enabled with more languages but as, I, as of my knowledge right now this is only supported in uh, chinese and in english and more languages are to be added on so hopefully maybe with watch os 10.4 that's something that we might see now if you use a watch face that i like here that's one of my favorite this one has to do with snoopy so a good thing about Snoopy watch face here is that it's adaptive. So depending on what you have at your area or your location, then Snoopy will basically mimic what's happening. And after updating to watch OS 10.3, I noticed that uh, Snoopy had like a holiday themed animation that he was doing on New Year's Eve. Sometimes he was doing fireworks. And then here you can see during the Christmas holiday season, Snoopy was basically doing different animation to mimic the practice or the holiday that's going on. So keep an eye out for this. This is going to depend on your region as well. So if you have like, the, for example, the Chinese New Year coming up, then this is something that you might want to keep an eye on as there will always be different animations. I initially thought I could be able to count all these animations that Snoopy does, but trust me, there's more than I actually thought. Now, if you go into your iPhone settings right here and then you want to go to where it says general, now here you can see wording changes it's very minor, but where it says Apple Care and Warranty, this one has been updated slightly because before it used to just show us devices that are paired with us but now it shows the status of apple care and warranty and you can see here i have a bunch of devices with expired apple care another update that has been actually done recently with the latest ios version and for the latest devices has to do with crash detection so this is going to be on the latest iphones on ios 17.3 and the latest watch os beta update well when it comes out it will be official on watch os 10.3 if you go into your settings and uh, you go to where it says sos right here you can see there is this uh crash detection right here and if you enabled crash detection and you were basically triggering this accidentally i'll be happy to let you know that in the latest ios version and watch os version there have been minor imp improvements to try and uh, avoid these accidental triggers so that's just another change that's mentioned in the OS that will affect you if you enable this and you're having those accidental triggers now another change that Apple mentioned when it comes to this update it mentions in the release notes here that this basically improves uh, security contents of the Apple Watch and basically stability as well. Keep an eye out on the Apple security page as well as it's publicly available. When this version becomes comes out officially, then Apple is going to update and let you know what security patches there are and what common vulnerabilities and exposures that have been exploited that they are patching. Now, when it comes to this update, we do have a bunch of known issues at this point in time, even though the release is like 
probably next week monday or tuesday so one of the first complaints that i got when it comes to this watch os 10.3 rc even the previous beta is that raise to speak you know when you have siri you raise your arm and then siri starts to listen that has been having an issue and to go around that a number of users had to turn it off and on and even power cycle their devices and then that eventually ended up working another issue that's going on right now has to do with clocks sometime your clock on your iphone and your apple watch are not synchronizing properly and a number of people have reported the alarm that it's not in sync with the iphone as well and those are just three of the main issues that have been reported to me another thing that i wanted to show you here has to do with my battery health because it really hasn't changed much since i started watch os 10.3 now here you can see my battery health is on 97 uh, percent and i believe i started this beta series of watch os 10.3 on the same percentage with regards to some of the ongoing issues in the us that have to do with massimo patents that are affecting the sale of the apple watch series 9 and apple watch ultra 2 at least for me in canada on my apple watch ultra one i'll be happy to let you know that it doesn't seem to be affecting any functionality and my watch seems to be functioning as normal i actually do have this blood oxygen application right there you can see i, I still need to get used to this multitasking you can see here i can start to measure my blood oxygen and when i click start it continues there's no pop-up screen that's saying hey we are unable to tell you your blood oxygen percentage because Massimo is stopping us from doing so so at least this is working as of now and you can see my reading right there so if this changes maybe with the next update i know certain certain watch devices that apple has now started to sell do not have this function so whether there will be an always that's going to change this for a number of users worldwide we are yet to see that but as of now this is working and that's watch always 10.3 release candidate for you that i've been covering let me know what you think about this update and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace